<clears throat> so the phone number on the impounded truck was the pre-1970s kind with letters. Harlem 7, 4321. Did the truck that got away have the same one? Yeah. But I'm not sure I'm following. <laughs> Pre-1970s trucks were terrible polluters because they had no catalytic converters. My mm -hmm. office did an initiative to get them off the roads. So there are now very few old trucks in this neighborhood. Si tuviéramos alguna forma de localizarlo. I got an idea. Nice work, Ma. Back in business. Sorry, couldn't hear you. Anyway, we delivered everything we had. The rest of it fell off the truck. You better freaking find it! I understand, sir. We'll keep looking for the last item. He's sniffing us. What did I tell you? No. He'll pay when we deliver the saxophone. No, the saxophone. I think you know where. Settle down, idiot. This guy's loaded. I just need to make him happy. I see him! Spider-Man! Did you really think you've seen the last of me? How the hell did the spider find us? More friends? Let's go! Come on, guys! Get the spider hunt! Okay, so there's something out there they're still looking for. So I found the second truck, but it was empty. Oh no. But they lost one of the pieces somehow. Charlie Parker's saxophone. Oh, Miles, head over to CJ Walker Park. Okay, why? One of our interns said she heard a guy talking about a saxophone he found. I didn't believe her at first. She's kind of a bochichera. If it's the one these guys lost, the boss seemed really interested in finding it. As he should be. Charlie Parker's a legend. That saxophone is priceless. Who should I look for at the park? I don't have a name. They said a trumpet player was talking about it. Trumpet. Got it. Thanks, Tiaranita. Let me know what happens. Te quiero. Gotta change clothes first. Don't want to disrupt the festival. Hmm. Okay. Where is this trumpet guy? Oh, it's the it's the it's the bodega cat. Hey, Miles. Teo. Sounding good, man. Wow, I didn't know you played the trumpet. I dabble, I dabble. Hey, I was actually gonna call you. When I was in keynote music this morning getting my horn fixed, some kids brought in the sax they found on the street. I was thinking it could potentially be the one from the museum. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. I'm trying to do the right thing. Yeah, a hundred percent. You talking about keynote on Cathedral? Yeah, talk to Eugene. Thanks. Headed there right now. Trumpet sounds great, bro. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. Hey, Spider Man! I was about to put an alert in your app. What happened here? A couple of creepy guys just dragged Eugene out of here. Definitely wasn't right. They went that way. Thanks. I'll check it out. Let's scan for any clues here. Spider-Man. You okay? A few bruises are okay. As long as they left me my keys. Here, take these and open my trunk. Charlie Parker saxophone. That's the real deal right there. I was getting ready to return to the museum, and those guys busted in. He used that to record his masterpiece, Ornithology, 1946. You a bird fan? <laughs> My dad was. 
I don't know much about old music. Mm, mm, oh. <laughs> when you hear an MC today, you syncopated accents, stress the offbeat, flow in and out of the rhythm. That ain't nothing but bebop. I have to listen a little closely next time. I'll get this back to the museum right away. Then I gotta call my insurance company. Okay. Thanks, man. Hmm. If I could get into the phone these guys were using to communicate with the mastermind. Wow. All zeros is a number equivalent of password as a password. Just a midnight rendezvous with the criminal mastermind. No biggie. on our last delivery. You'll get paid when I get everything. Where is it? Where is what? Lewis said you were bringing the saxophone. Lewis said? Lewis got picked up by the cops. He don't got no saxophone. You set this meeting up! No, <gasps> he didn't. Now where's our money? Where is the saxophone? Darren? Darren, wow. The donor from the museum? Better bust up this party and have a talk with him. I should get the whole bunch wrapped up before they hurt so much. What's he doing now? We need Leon with the big gun. You're going to jail. Thank you, Spider-Man. And I assure you, there's a very reasonable explanation. That seems extremely dubious. Wait till Councilwoman Morales hears you were involved in this. Leon, here. Time to exterminate a spider. There. Stay back. That is nice timing. Glad I remember which one was the break. I should probably get my license one of these days. <laughs> Just so I get this right. All that talk of supporting the museum. All Angela's time you wasted asking about operations and security. All lies. So you can learn how to steal the collection. But my family... No. <laughs> I'm sure you do care about this music. But those things don't belong to you. They belong to this community. Let's go, sir. You're under arrest. Hmm. I like that. This event I like this mission. Possible without our wonderful curator, Angela, mm -hmm. and this entire community. The way we pull together to recover the stolen items is nothing less than amazing. Okay, okay. Thank you, everyone, for saving hmm. me. And thank you, Rio Morales, our city council person, who championed this event with the nation's lead. Rio was a on a platform to help. All that? 
And she was a secret agent fighting Nazis? Huh. Josephine Baker. Role model. Too many people. Gotta go around. Hey, I heard you helped find the missing saxophone. Yeah, I got to hold it. Her coax miracles from that hunk of metal. My dad was a big Charlie Parker fan. He'd be happy to know the sax is here for everyone to appreciate. And maybe lead them back to the music. Music <laughs> is magic. you'd be here oh wow your mom is something else can you believe that guy that pretended to be a donor is. and then robbed the place thank god he didn't get away with it i agree this stuff needs to be here thank you all thank you so much <laughs> angela told me the museum has a record number of new memberships seriously they're gonna be okay <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you, Ma. Now, hear me out. What if we really teamed up on the next one? I can get my own suit. Ma! Maybe. Algo con brillo. Ma, stop. Stop. <laughs> stop it. Get out of your head. <laughs> Dance with me. Shimmy out of sauce. I am back. I have completed all the Mysteriums, and now I think we're about to fight Mysterio, or at least take him to jail. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, where's Beck? Welcome, Spider-Man. If you're looking for Betsy and Cole, they are no longer with us. You killed them? Don't act surprised. You've known from the beginning who you're dealing with. Mysterio. <sighs> Here we go. <laughs> oh boy. Beck. The name is Mysterio. The name is And now I get to fight him. Wait, am I in a snow globe? Oh my god, I'm in a snow globe. What happened to you? I thought you were all about the future of entertainment. Why find this guy? I spent years behind bars, waiting for technology to catch up to my vision. And now, thanks to you, my illusions are inescapable. Uh oh, bad guys everywhere. If this is like the other illusion, the more baddies I take out, the closer I get to escape. <laughs> I definitely am liking this Mysterio fight. Whoa. Why are you doing this, man? 
You could have used your powers to make the city a better place. This city never respected my talents. This isn't how you get respect. Well, it is New York. I think this is an illusion. Keep fighting. Keep doubting. It is the only way to defeat him. Wait. If you're here, Mysterio's out there. How is that happening? What? Is it a split personality now between these two? Enough of this! I'll end you myself! Oh, please. I'm Spider-Man. I'll fight you any day. Everything that has happened is because I wanted it to happen. Now you're just making excuses. I control everything. I am a god. Your reality is what I deem it to be. Oi. Give up now, and I will spare your life. No thanks. Giving up isn't really my thing. No, this is impossible. Why is time so slowed? It's over. Just like that? So you managed to survive. Oh, I knew it. Doesn't matter. Alive or dead, you will never escape my world. Nice try. Clever spider. Whoa. Oh, bet. When you are dead, the city will finally get me the respect I have earned. You want respect? Then stop all this. Ouch. <laughs> oh, Mysterio, I have longed for a proper Mysterio battle in games. I mean, friend or foe had a, had a great Mysterio battle, but no thanks, I prefer this. The costume, I, I, I'm not a fan of. I would have on I honestly prefer his MCU suit. Actually done this time. Time to get out of here. <laughs> Guess I gotta get through that wall. Sin is down. Get it back. I'm trying. Wait, what? What? It was Quentin. He made us do this. Where is he? 
Huh? Sweet. Have they been just drugging him and controlling him the whole time just to capitalize on his uh, his powers? Still have a lot of questions. This so can clear things up. So can I tell everyone Mysterio is a good guy now? Mysterio will always be a villain. Just as Spider-Man will always be a hero. It's when you start looking at the people behind the masks. That things get messy. Hmm. Wow. So all along he was a good guy. He was just being controlled by the uh, the uh, the two women. All right. What happened? Hunters. They've been coming through here for days. Sorry I wasn't here to help. Nah. Could you tell me about this antique I found? It uh almost killed me. I cannot help you. I've seen this symbol before. Please leave. Wait! I can protect you from the hunters. I'm not worried about them. I thought I left this behind on Volgograd. The flames have been lit. This is his jungle now. Craven? Cravenoff. Craven Cravenoff. Hmm. Hey, Miles. Actually, never felt better. I should have been... Wait, really? Positive. Hey, let me call you back. Got some bonfires to crash. Uh, okay. Yes, you think the Kraven would be at the feast tonight? Look up! Hey, I see the spider! It... What's this I hear about lighting some fires? <laughs> 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 Nice. He is in my Whoa! Oh, okay. What are they doing up here? Well, I'm surprised the uh, giant pieces of wood didn't, uh, you know, collapse. Craven the Hunter. Oh, vodka. vodka. Looks like it's for some kind of party. Vodka. Wonder what they're celebrating. Pretty rude of Craven not to extend an invite. Never stopped me before, though. Let's see what they were up to. Definitely loving a symbiote suit, but uh, I have a feeling that from Volgograd for this event. 
These shipments have to be coming in nearby. No airfields here. I have a feeling that we won't be keeping this for the rest of the game. Like we'll be getting rid of it, obviously. Maybe something there can lead me to crave it. Because you know, it's it's the symbiote's venom. But um, I wonder if we'll get a replacement. Like I don't know, maybe like a good symbiote, or maybe a possibility of um, venom becoming good. I, I or you know. Whoever will be him, if it'll be me or Harry or somebody else, who knows? If Craven gets the symbiote suit. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be happy because this is gonna make him a tougher boss than he already is. Symbiote suit. It's, it's look is excellent. You know, like straight out of the comics. But it looks like it has like a little bit of armor. See, I have, like there's like some li actual lining in the suit. But uh, its abilities, its look are both excellent. Pretty bad shape. Let me help you. Hospital, please. There's one close by. You're gonna be okay. I thought they were going to kill me. What did they want? Some cargo went missing on the journey. Here, they thought I took it. You're safe. Well, you're safe now, buddy. Now, where's the drop off? 718, Kent. Wonder how Harry's doing without the suit right now. Hey, buddy. How you feeling? I'm fine. What's happening? Craven, or Cravenoff, is hosting some party at 718, Kent. Figured I'd stop by. It looks like a social club. Hang on. I'm almost there. Hmm. Looks like a busy night. Hope our VIP is here. They're more riled up than usual. Just keep your head down. And... How are you getting in? Kitchen entrance. You should change. The classic Peter Parker look isn't gonna cut it. Too bad my tux is at the dry cleaners. Huh? It's forming a tuxedo form, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> That is cool. I'm a spy. A spider spy. <laughs> you forgot to mention the suit could turn into a tux. Oh, never did that with me. Hey. Hey, you. Come over here. Take this to Mr. Cravenoff's bodyguard. His bodyguard? Dima. Move. Well, sounds like your shift's starting. Yeah. I'll leave you to it. Better go find Dima. Order's up! How are they eating so fast? Don't keep them waiting, move! Grave in the Hunter. Swanky. Huh. I clean up pretty nice. And I'm feeling great. I was in the capital when the gun was in the sea. You tried to light me on fire! That was only one time. Excuse me. This club is our stronghold. Interesting choice. It reminds him of home. Scares just hit. Peter's in disguise. 
300-year-old sleeping dart will never work. You are so certain. Oh, yeah. Show me, then. I'll show him, too. Yes? Take him. Let him squirm. The poison is ancient, and you don't even know how to use that thing. A true hunter. Adepts. Hmm. The symbiote actually has some good intentions. Sleep well, my friend. Those hunters were nuts. I can't believe the suit listened to me. I wish my suit had a neural interface like this. I could work with Harry, do the hero gig, and take a vacation all at once. Did you see he had a That's probably the maitre d' by the podium. Has one of the shield bearers arrived? Uh, yes. He is in the other room by the fire. Will Mr. Kravenoff be joining us this evening? Uh, there are some, uh, Quite right. <laughs> Damn, Craven isn't here. Shield bearer. Hmm. Sounds like a bodyguard to me. I'll rip him in half with my bare hands. He is not your target. You kill him, you will die. He's a big boy. Oh my goodness. Must be him. <clears throat> Your meal, sir. Mm. What the hell is this? Um, I was told to deliver this to Mr. Kravenoff's personal bodyguard. What makes you think I'm him? <laughs> uh, you know, you're, uh, huge. <laughs> Dima's very hungry. You should leave now. So funny. I was just about to do that. <sighs> Big boy. I was looking up at that room. Gotta find the elevator. It's huge. Like shield bearer. How big is Dima gonna be? It's too scary. Dima's probably the same size as Craven, and Craven's like what? Seven foot tall? Six foot five? Seven foot tall? Sorry. Don't be sorry. Move! Coming through! Uh, 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 this... Uh, this mess! If everything isn't perfect, we're all dead! Coming through! No! No! No, wait! Uh, 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 why were you standing right in front of the door? I told you to wait! No, you Come didn't! On. I was just minding my... Come business. on! Shut up, both of you. Pick everything up and let's move. <laughs> Like the Three Stooges, it's like a Three Stooges scenario where they just keep bumping into each other. Find Dima, we find Craven and his weird blizzard serum. Easy. Oh my goodness, he got a pet tiger? Dima. Crap. Well, that explains the secret menu. Uh, someone's a little angry. A tiger. That's new. All right, let's give Dima something to eat that isn't spider. -like. I don't know that much about Craven the Hunter, I just know that he uh, lives for the hunt. Something in that study might help me find Craven. But first, gotta break out the apron. Exactly, they want me to grab the meat. I figured this out. Hunter. 
All right, and then we go Anyone over here. And when he moves up there, I can steal the dirt. Thank you very much. Shh. Our little secret. Sleepy time for Dima. Snooping time for Peter. Oh, if this doesn't work, there's only one other thing on the menu. Me. Hi, Dima. I'm back. With a little snacky snack. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, that's rather intelligent. <clears throat> too cool for his own party. Should look around in case he left the lizard serum somewhere in here. Must have just missed him. Was Craven praying? Hmm. I guess that's his family tree. Vladimir. Craven's the only one crossed off. Hmm. Don't see Craven's lizard serum here. But what are these potions? No serum. These drugs are for late stage chemotherapy. Oh, are these Craven's too? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. The chapel prepared. Saint Sophia is only a few blocks from here. Craven has to be there with the serum. Time to move. Didn't know hunting could be so existential. He's better read than I would have thought. Nothing like some light philosophy between hunts. Hmm. Interesting. All right, I guess we go back out the door. But I bet someone's coming. Demo. It's not what it looks like. Keep him alive. Oh, I've been waiting to fight some people today. Okay, suit. Let's see what you can really do. Nice. Very nice. Gotta get to the chapel quick. That was fun. Whoa. Yet, but I think I know where he is. How's the suit? Weird. It's like it knows me. Don't worry, buddy. I'll take care of everything. Promise. Ooh, that's a badass bad. shot. Oh, I'm a 
be fighting big boy. Okay, webs are back. It's you! I knew that was our meat cute back there, I knew it! <laughs> I'd love to get to know you better, but I got some business to take care of. See, your boss has been up to no good lately. This is my city, not his jungle. He killed Scorpion. Let the lizard loose. And he stabbed me pretty good. I'd like a word with him, especially about that last part. Poor these guys. Ouch. Time to go ham, bro ham. What's the matter? Here to pick up a serum order for a Dr. Connors? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Fighting Craven. Here we go. You have hunted me. This is good. Let's see if you have the strength to finish what you started. Oh, you bet I do. Set it free. I'm just here to save my friend. Oh, there's a tracker on it. Great. Harry, MJ, I got the serum. On my way back to Emily May. How'd it go? Really well. Things just got a little intense with Craven. He's somehow stronger than he looks, if you can believe that. Hey, the important thing is that you're okay. And you got the serum. You did great, buddy. I'll start prepping the gear. How'd it really go? It was totally... I didn't want to worry Harry. 
Craven knows now that the suit malfunctions when it's within range of certain frequencies. How bad is the malfunction? Not pleasant, but I can handle it. Well, I'm glad you're all right, but watch yourself out there, too. <laughs> Let me know how things go at the lab. Absolutely. Talk soon. Still got it? Let's see what this thing's made of. Ooh, we got the dark clothes. Hmm. Okay, I've overlaid the serum with an old sample of Connor's blood. If you can destroy the atoms blocking the lizard receptors, we can make an antidote, and then we're golden. Like a goose. Like a clever goose. So how's the suit working out for you? It's good. Great, even. Just takes some getting used to. Yeah. I'm gonna really put it through its paces when this is over. There. Huzzah. Ooh. Huzzah. Wait. Does the structure look unstable to you? Huh. If we could beam a few electrons in there, it'd stabilize it, but... It's not like we have a... Particle, particle accelerator? accelerator. <laughs> That'd be like using a shotgun for a haircut. Hell of a haircut. <laughs> Harry's uh, Harry's Detective acting is so Ooh, maybe it's okay. I'm doing Peters. It's so good. Black holes, no black holes, no black holes. Huh. <laughs> of course. Pressure change popped an intersection out of alignment. There's no way to fix it without going inside. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? The suit will protect me, right? Peter, it's a particle accelerator. It'll kill, kill you. About this. Relax and be a good proton. Huh? <laughs> Stay positive. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the inside of a particle accelerator like? Amazing. You gotta crawl in this when you get the suit back. Oh yeah, it's at the top of my list. What's gonna happen when I realign it anyway? There aren't any other pressure problems. Nothing. You can come right out. Harry! It's, it's powering up, but the beams are at it. Use the magnets to stabilize it. How? Just find the sweet spot. Particle accelerators do not have sweet spots! <laughs> Oh my Good. god. There's one more set of magnets ahead. If you can't stabilize the beam, it'll destroy the serum. I got it. Do not wipe my library cards. Don't touch the beam, don't touch the beam. You did it, Pete. We're home free. Come on out. Hmm. Is it working? Lizard any doubt, here we come. <laughs> so the suit's got some sensitive ears. Apparently. What happened? More static discharges. The accelerator's still running, though. The serum's okay. Fire. You get that side, I'll get this side. Got it! I can't let that fire fast enough. There's gotta be something else I can use. Good, good. The static discharges must have fried our fire suppression sensors. I'll try to trigger them manually. 
Is the antidote in control? <laughs> That's the last of them. It worked! <laughs> so you'll power it down. I'll grab the antidote, find Dr. Connor. Not so fast. There are 67 shutdown steps. If we take it out before, then we'll lose the antidote. Oof. Sounds like it's gonna be a while. You hungry? I could go get a pizza. Shut it down and get the oh, poop. I'll handle this. No, you ain't. It's almost powered down. I'll finish it and grab the antidote. You need to get out. I can't leave. I'm the only one. Watch out! So much for the antidote. My goodness, it's a, a big bear dude. Who is this dude? I didn't know there were bears in these woods. <laughs> <laughs> hey, before we get down to business, there's something I have to tell you. I'm fresh out of honey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this dude's a menace. Next 
nice. Oh boy, here he comes. Terrific. Uh oh. Come on. Just keep coming. We're destroying everything. Don't worry about that. You need to get out. No. There's just a few steps left. We can still finish the antidote. I know we can. Hunters, you all should have ran when you had the chance. So you like smashing things? How about I smash your face? Ooh. You turn more aggressive there, Peter. You're gonna regret ever coming here! Warning. Structural collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Warning. Are you hearing this, Harry? How much longer? I know, I know. I'm on the last two steps. <laughs> Harry, this place is coming down. We need to leave. No, it'll hold. I'm so close. Harry, just give me a sec. Come on. Let's go. Oh boy, here comes Norman. He's gonna be pissed. Harry. Okay, thank God. Are you hurt? I'm fine. We both are, but the foundation... I don't care about that right now. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get in there and see what you can save. I want a detailed report of the damage. Your dad's right. The foundation doesn't matter. What? This was our dream. And it still is. But right now we have to focus on finding Dr. Connors and getting you healthy again. I got this. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, Harry's not, uh, he's feeling a little betrayed at the moment. Hmm. Hey, you've reached Pete. Flick! Uh, it's good enough. Leave a message. Where the hell are you, Pete? Hey, Genki. Hey, dude. One of the friends got its wires all crossed with an old hunter transmission. <laughs> Figured you might want to look into it. Maybe it'll lead to Lee. Sending you the source coordinates. Really appreciate it, man. No problem. Everything good? <laughs> Haley and I are a little worried. It's okay. I just need everything to get back to normal first. I'll make it up to her, though. We're missing her exhibit. Okay, dude. Hope the lead pans out. Hmm. Well, I think I think I'm gonna end it here. So I thank you very much for watching. Hope you like it and subscribe. Check out my Discord, and I hope you guys have an excellent day. Goodbye.